different than what we've been doing uh, lately. You know, going to track racing, stuff like that. From my friend asked if uh, we can put videos of what we do. So the car that we take to the track or whatever. So, I'm working on this blue SRT right here. And uh, it's been having problems with the fuel. Um, it won't go lower than half the time. And then it's still having problems with, you know, uh, fuel pickup and stuff like that. He's a build motor, big turbo, but they didn't have money to do the whole fuel system or the tow line system. And uh, I recommended him to buy a canister with a 450 pump already installed, but it was using a the stock um, regulator. So you won't use the you know, you won't need a return line system. Anyways, that didn't work. And I honestly don't know if it's even a 450 pump. But anyways, I removed the pump, um, gas tank, and now I'm doing a bottleneck fix. Um, I'm doing it my way. Um, other people do it different. This is, this is my way. This is how it's been working for me. Um, so many cars that I've been done. So we're gonna do it my way. And hopefully we get away with all that and we can actually race this car at the track with like a quarter of a tank or a little bit less than that. You know, let's wait, go faster. Uh, and also when he daily drives it, uh, he can go all the way to empty with no problem. So here's a little bit of what I did already. As you can see, I already did the bottleneck fix. This, uh, this right here is a push lock. But, you know, I put a little clamp just to be sure that it's not gonna come off. And, you know, fuel, fuel pump is down here. So, I already plug up the uh, old uh, fuel pressure regulator. And then we're gonna be doing the AGP return line system with, you know, fuel pressure regulator and all the stuff. Hopefully can fix all the problems with this. Now, this is the filter that I use, and it's like a 45 to put on the bottom of the pump, and it works, it works great. They're great. If you're looking about doing this to your SRT, then you gotta need one of these bad boys. It's from a 1991 Mazda Miata. Make sure you get the right one because it's two different sizes. This is the long size. And as you can see, it's like 45. So, when you put your fuel pump in the gas tank, this thing will sit pretty much flush. Like that. And then after that, this will be sitting on the bottom of the gas tank and you'll have no problems. So, let's get it, let's get it installed put on the gas tank and then I will show you when I put it in the car, how to run the return line system, how to set it up and then go from there. Filter is installed. It comes with the little lock right there. So you have to make sure that the filter goes all the way down in the pump and it's really, really tight. You know, you'll have no problems coming off or having problems picking up some fuel, but you have to make sure you put this on just so it won't come loose. And you can use a five millimeters socket to push it in and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna be putting that thing. Let's go put it on and then I'll show you how to install it in the car and you know, run the line all the way through the, through the firewall, back all the way to the gas tank. So, we should be pretty good. So here's the part number for the filter. Um, you can get it at any part store. And it's like 15 bucks. I know it's another filters out there that a lot of people recommend, but they're like 150, the Hydromats and all, all those filters. They're awesome too, but you know, if, if you wanna do something kind of on a budget, you know, this is, this is the way to do it. And, and like I said, you won't have no problems. As long as you do it that way, this way, hopefully, uh, I don't jinx myself, but you know, we'll see. Um, on this right here, 
you want to use a 10 bolt with the washer and you're just gonna put some uh, JB well something like this um, but a 10 10 millimeter size uh, a little longer and since it's plastic you can just screw it in and put it in there before you do that you want to get some JB well put on the threads put it all on the bottom and then drive the screw, the screw all the way in and then just fill it up just so nothing will come out you will have no problems and it will last forever um, like I said this is this is the way that I do it and it's been really really good for me so far I've done I don't know maybe like 10 of this in different cars and they all work great hopefully this will help you whenever you decide to do your own fuel system remember Every time you're doing anything with fuel, you want to be really careful, replace all the gasket, triple check everything because you don't want to, you know, get the car on fire or something like that happen and then, you know, you end up with no car. So be careful, try to do it as good as you can. If you have any doubts, just ask questions, ask anybody and then, you know, get it going, get it faster. That's the point, get it faster, go from there. fitting this should go to the stock fuel line and then from here all the way to the front and then the return will go in the um, filler net hose and then that should be it so I have the gas tank now it was a lot easier to remove this for me so you want to cut about an inch two and you can then put this on for your return if you are doing the HGD one
pretty much done with the fuel return line system. Uh, earlier on the video, I was putting this bracket on top, but it actually goes on the bottom just like this. And then I need to run the vacuum line all the way to the uh, either the turbo or the uh, cold side pipe, and then. I ran a line on top of those brackets. I removed the brackets, put them on top. All the way. And connect it. Uh, somewhere over there. Oh, right there. So. Now let's check, make sure everything's good, turn it on, take it for a ride, and then do the appointment for the retune, and we should be good to go. Moment of truth. Let's see. All right, so we have about a little bit less than a quarter of a tank, so let's see. Jackson tilted forward and it's still picking up some fuel. more thing guys whenever you finish the fuel system you want to adjust your regulator so either you can ask your tuner what pressure they recommend or you can go by what the injectors recommend most of the injectors will say 43 44 psi now you're gonna set it up a 43 without connecting any vacuum line to it um, because if you are connected on anything after the throttle body you're gonna have vacuum so the gates gonna re lower um, if you connected to the turbo or to the cold side pipe you should be fine because that's only pressure so you want to be a true one-to-one -one and you want to be at 43 or 58 or whatever your tuner will recommend you to do you always have to at least start at 45 and like I say go from there or if you want to if you got you know the, the instructions or the the graph for the injectors and they say it's 43 then put it at 43 psi of course, you have to set it up with the car is running. I really hope you like this video. If you have any questions or you want any, y'all want any other videos on like how to, uh, I can try to make some. We're gonna be building a motor here pretty soon for my friend Mark, and we're gonna record all that. Um, we're gonna post it. So let me know if you like the video. Please like, subscribe. Y para toda la raza en español que quieran videos en español, nada más díganme. Este Voy a hacer lo, lo posible por hacer unos videos en español. Es un poquito difícil estar de que inglés, español, inglés, español, pero igual y podemos hacer uno en, en español y luego hacer uno en inglés o, o a ver cómo le hacemos. Pero díganos si, si quieren un video en español, si, si quieren que hablemos más en español o, o está bien en inglés nada más. Y cualquier pregunta que tengan, uh, pongan ahí un, un comment y, y hacer, haremos lo posible para contestarles. Y, pues espero que les guste el video. Y, hasta la próxima. See you guys later. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. Like I say, maybe a lot of people not gonna like the way I did it, but you know it works for me. It works for all the cars that I've done in the past. Hope you like the video. Ooh.